Hello everyone and welcome to our latest video. If you're looking to upgrade your home theater experience, you've come to the right place. Today, we'll be discussing the best Dolby Atmos soundbars on the market. With their advanced surround sound technology, Dolby Atmos soundbars take your movie and music listening to the next level. Remember this list of best soundbar is in no exact order so be sure to stay tuned until the end so you don't miss anything. So let's get started. Starting our list with Sennheiser Ambio Soundbar Max. The Sennheiser Ambio Max Soundbar is one of the best soundbars on the market. Although its performance comes at a significant hit to the wallet at an asking price of over two grand. Much like the price, the Ambio Soundbar doesn't offer compromises in its design, stretching to over a meter long, which means you will need space to accommodate it. At 18.5 kilograms, it's a heavy beast, heavier than 12 kilograms DVL-It Dion a soundbar we already felt was pretty heavy. It's one of few all-in-one soundbars we found live up to the claim of immersive audio, placing effects above, to the side, and even behind our sitting position for a fantastically involving and engaging performance. There's a powerful sense of bass for a soundbar that doesn't come with a subwoofer, though you can add one through the wired connection, and it paints a soundstage with plenty of depth and detail. You'll want to make sure the Ambio processing is switched on, as without it, we found the bar's performance lost a sense of depth and height. As well as supporting Dolby Atmos, there's support for DTS-X and the lesser-supported MPEG-H, which offers choice of home cinema enthusiasts to hear their physical media collection in immersive sound. The range of connectivity is also good, with three HEMI inputs for plugging to the TV as well adding sources, aux in, digital optical out alongside Bluetooth 4.2 and Google Chromecast. The Sennheiser is a soundbar that offers thrilling sound and plays all types of content. If you don't have space for a surround sound system, the Ambio would make for a good alternative that takes up less space. Even after a few years on the market, we still rate it as our favorite Atmos soundbar. At number 2 it's Sony HT-7000. If you're not willing to part with the cash or the size of the Ambio Max, there are plenty of capable Dolby Atmos soundbars for less than $2,000 of which the Sony HTA 7000 is one of our favorites. Capable of a 7.1.2 channel setup with Atmos, the A7000 presented a tall and wide soundstage that's bigger than you'd get from a stereo soundbar. The vertical surround engine, along with the up-firing drivers, help produce a detailed height performance with lots of clarity. Its tone is crisp, which helps to extract lots of detail from film soundtracks, as well as a sharpness that presents the likes of action films with plenty of sonic attack and punch. Sony's claims of virtual surround sound didn't convince us much, but the A7000's sound is better optimized in a room with walls or surfaces, it can bounce sounds off, which is not an environment our testing rooms had at the time of review. Along with its convincing performance with movies, the HT A7000 also performed well when we put music on with a punchy low-end, natural reproduction of the mid-range and sharp highs. We'd suggest putting the soundbar into its cinema mode rather music, as that elicits a smoother vocal performance. Connectivity is wide-ranging with a couple of HEMI inputs to plug sources into for home cinema fans, and plenty of means to fire wireless audio at the bar with AirPlay 2, Bluetooth 5, Spotify Connect, and a Google Chromecast built in, as well as support for high-resolution audio with DST and the wireless LDAC format. There is the ability to add rear speakers and a subwoofer to create a proper surround sound performance but that adds considerable cost to the Sony's original asking price. Compared to other soundbars, the A7000's mix of various materials, glass top surface and felt among others, might be considered divisive, but we liked it. Like other all-in-one soundbars such as the Sennheiser Ambio Max and Diviela Dion, this is quite a wide effort to accommodate on a stand or piece of furniture, and we'd recommend partnering the HT A7000 with a telly that's 55 inches or bigger. At number 3 it's Sonos Arc. There are more affordable Dolby Atmos soundbars out there that you can get for less than $1,000, but in terms of performance, we'd rate the Sonos Arc as the best choice. The Arc was the first time Sonos took a crack at Dolby Atmos, and we found it did the technology justice, describing a soundstage with plenty of width and height for an expansive Atmos presentation. It's also a bar that presents soundtracks with plenty of detail, as well as offering good control of higher frequencies for a balanced tone. However, our reviewer did find issues with how it handled the transition between the lows and mids, which wasn't the most fluid, and that lead to a performance that wasn't as cohesive as we'd have liked. While it also handles music well, 
the same issue between the mid range and lower frequencies could be heard in a more obvious manner. Connectivity is decent with HDMI.